Going down. Welcome to the Pressure Pal. My name is Gunnar. I'm an Icelander, live in Iceland, uh, and for some reason, I always think that's an important distinction to make. Let's call it an ego thing. Anyway, this is my podcast vlog chatting type of thing where I talk mainly about yarn knitting, crocheting, anything fiber related because fibers are interesting and things that people do with them. All this will. Call it Project Pal because I have projects there on piles and I just keep adding to them. Particularly in this season, I'm like, with the advent calendar, I just keep adding to them. I also talk quite a bit about the weather because it is interesting and it affects everything that, well, I do and I assume that most other people do. Like, currently it is quite overcast, which means that um, I actually have to keep my lights on. Didn't really help me trying to read the labels on the yarn just just now. Made me feel a little old. <laughs> um, and because I live in Iceland, um, for the past years I've also been talking about the active volcanoes when and you know the earthquakes and all those fun things when those are active because I mean who isn't interested in volcanoes? They're interesting. They're tricky buggers, but. There you go. <sighs> did I forget anything? I don't think I did. <laughs> uh, this is funny. It's such a funny season. So, yeah. Um, I actually managed to fi finish something. Uh, I didn't quite... I haven't quite finished weaving in the ends or, you know, like... Uh, wetting it and getting the edge to obey. But, you know... I literally finished it on Thursday, just before we sat down to have dinner at the knit night club. I finished it! I finished the super simple shawl with uh, the hobby Halloween sock yarn cake. I have three others. I can make three more scarf. Oh, you know, I mean, technically speaking, this is a shawl, but like, this is more like a Kerchief, something, and and uh, I need to remember to link the where I found the pattern because I found this on Ravelry. But honestly, it's one of these really fairly simple, I believe, fairly common patterns as well. Um, I really like it because um, first off, you get a very very nice item out of it. It does work fairly quickly. You don't need to use all your brain cells and I am a big fan of not needing to use my brain cells when uh, I'm done working. Speaking of brain cells, um, so last Sunday, oh, we're not going to add on calendar, we got such gorgeous yarn. Up. And um, if you've been here a while, you know that I am not the quickest with actually doing the things that I want to do because I got a lot of things still I want to do. So I haven't started on the headband. I still really want to because this is so soft I cannot wait to get working on it. This as well. I mean these two in the crochet hat and it looks so cute as well. Um, I haven't started on the Yule hat or the Santa thing magic. And I also want to do. Um, but I did, you know, because... Because my ability to keep my attention on things is... Um, I think we can all agree that I am a typical adult. Because I see something I'm like, oh wait, should do that thing instead. Um, so one morning when I was getting downstairs... Um, because I live in an apartment building, so we have a shared staircase. So I was leaving for work one morning, and um, there's a landing where we have pretty much just taken over with the blessing of our neighbors. Um, with bigger plants that can't really fit in the apartment, that really need more lighting that we have in here. And they really love it in a staircase, and because the neighbors like them, they can stay there. As soon as our neighbors are bothered by them, they, they are going. Um, it's been quite a few years by now and they would rather that we add to them, so that's a plus. Um, but there's also, we have an armchair 
on the landing because my mother uh, she does sometimes need to sit sit down a little bit because her legs aren't what they used to be so we got an armchair on the landing and we made a little cozy and cozy little corner so I think that's maybe why our neighbors like it as well and of course to make it a little more homey and friendly I've added a pillow that during Halloween we put a Halloween pillowcase around it and it looked really really cute so of course I need to put a Christmas themed pillowcase and um, so short story made unreasonably long <laughs> when I was yeah, leaving for work that one morning I was looking at the pillow and thinking hmm I need to remember to put the pillowcase around it and then I'm looking on the chair I'm like it would really really look so much better if we had a Christmas color like an Afghan or something and I immediately had an image in mind just you know this fairly typical classic baby pattern so and I remember that I have yarn from Hobby that I think I've had for, if not an entire year, then probably two years by now. Um, so it's definitely high time to start using up some of that yarn. Um, so I found a pattern that actually was strangely difficult to find a pattern of just this classic wavy blanket. Crochet, because I want to put crochet. There's just something about a crochet or afghan that just... Because you get a much thicker fabric when you do the crochet rather than knitting. I like knitting. Like, don't get me wrong. I love knitting. Um, but... I have this thing that with knitting, I like knitted garments. But I like crochet items like the uh, like the baby blankets i prefer them at least the ones that i've made so far i prefer them with the crochet because then you get a thicker fabric you get more like you know juicy she says but um i do also crochet my granny square cardigans because they are cozy and lovely and um hmm. i just went around with myself in the corner but i want this afghan or blanket be crochet because that's just the vibe so of course I go on Ravelry because that's where you get a lot of patterns and for some reason every single pattern that I found was out of stock and you couldn't like approach it anywhere on the internet couldn't download it on Ravelry or anything no web page nothing so I did find luckily a very simple it's just a repeat of two rows a very simple free pattern and I'm going to link it down below because it's probably going to make sense to some of you, but I cannot make head or tails of it. It's probably too simple for me, but there's just something about it. I just end up going here. Um, so this is what I have so far. This took me three hours. Okay. I'm literally just on the first... Did I scratch myself? I scratched myself. Good lord. I don't even have the excuse of a cat now. Um, but yeah, this is supposed to be wavy, right? And it, I just cannot make hair tail. I cannot understand the pattern. I've followed it and I pulled this back. I frogged it completely at least once and I pulled it back I don't know how many times. And I just cannot. I can't. And then I just went through the pattern folder on my computer and I realized I do have uh, at some point I downloaded a pattern from Lion Brands and I just need to translate from American English over to Icelandic and the instructions seem simple enough for my brain to handle like I spent more than three hours yesterday on a Saturday to get this far Yeah, this is roughly the yeah roughly the length that I would like on a cozy little blanket that I can just throw on the armchair on the staircase. 
because because um, I have this actually a very nice collection. Like the, I, it came in this lovely bag. It's the Hobby Christmas Acrylics 100% acrylic. Right, got this in this lovely lovely bag. And the way that I've been thinking, I think something like this. Okay. Having the colorway something like this, and maybe having the white, like starting with the darker green, a lighter red, and the white, and then the lighter green, and a darker red, and then white. So maybe have like two rows of the colors. And a single one of the white in between, something like that. I think that would be nice as soon as I can figure out <laughs> the pattern. So I'm probably gonna try again and not just frog what I have and try with a lime brand pattern because maybe that one is easy enough for me. <sighs> but I'm still not mad. I'm a touch frustrated. But mainly I just find it funny because. Out of all the things that I could be doing, like I could be doing this or this or that or this or that or anything else. But no, no, no. I need to go do this because I want the armchair on the staircase to look festive. We are pretty much the only ones to, you know, pass it. I mean, I tell a lie. There's our neighbors just across from the, on the same landing, but I really want our armchair to look extremely festive and I'm like, ah. The things that you just grab onto, it's kind of funny. It is kind of funny. Um, but yeah, so far so good, honestly. I think it's actually currently maybe raining. It might have rained yesterday. Um, we haven't really had any extreme frost. That has actually been really, really nice. Like, we've been really lucky with the weather this past week. And honestly, I would have rather liked that it's just a soft frost and just white throughout December. That would have been really nice. But of course, the upcoming days are going to be warming up and then cooling down and then warming up and cooling down. Meaning that we are also... You know, because of how temperature changes work, that means we are also going to get some winds. But honestly, there's nothing to complain about in regards to the weather, because when you hear the news from, like, Europe, continental Europe, is like... Uh, right. <laughs> Literally cannot complain. <laughs> Uh, but yeah, so my current ambition is I still have a big pile of books that I want to read. Um, still behind all the books that I'm currently reading. <laughs> uh, I, I, I put myself the challenge to read only 50 books this year. Like 50 books, that's like barely a book a week. And... Um, I'm halfway through that. And I, so it's on Goodreads, this challenge that you, you put yourself a challenge. And I hate losing a reading challenge, so I'm like, good lord. What am I gonna do? <laughs> but yeah, so I can always lessen the challenge. I can make the, like, put it in like 30 books instead. I would probably be healthier. Um, but yeah, so I really also want to figure out this mess. Oh yeah, as for the knit night last Thursday, we had our Yuletide dinner, our Christmas dinner. We were about 20. That is the uh, biggest turnout we've had so far. It was a lot of fun. Gorgeous food. Oh, the food was so tasty. And it was just so much fun. It was so relaxing. It was just exactly the thing that I needed and that a lot of the others needed as well. And I did 
gift um, one of the like the project holders thingamajig that I got from last Sunday's Adrian calendar and one of the pom pom makers because I don't need two. Um, it would have been better if um, the 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 dinner would have been like this week because then I could have also gifted one of the scissors that I got this time. Um, but then I found a really, really lovely scheme that I had. It was Kroonskarn Jartikarn, which I think is Norwegian. And it's such a lovely color. Like, I forgot to take a picture of it myself, but I did find some images online. And the best part is that it was my good friend who got that package. And the funny thing is, because she arrived last, she actually ended up being the last one whose packet was... Um, or whose gift was pulled out of the bag, it was... Couldn't have timed it, couldn't have timed it. Um, but because she kind of knows me, she pretty much guessed straight away that it, it was me because it was um, two hobby items and, um, and a skein of yarn. I think they're finding out, figuring out that I love giving something yarn, yarn related. It's just fun. Um, but yeah, so that is that went really well. Um, this Friday night, I'll be having a Christmas dinner with my coworkers, so that's gonna be good food, good food, good fun. Um, which is nice because um, the twenty third, that's the a little while yet. That's a big day in. Iceland because that is Thorlaugsmessa, the, the mass of Saint Thorlaugur, who is the only Icelandic saint. Um, his day is the 23rd of December and as tradition has, you know, evolved, it has become quite a bit of a shopping day. A lot of people just meeting up in the stores, catching up, having a lot of fun, sharing the holiday spirit, trying to keep each other relaxed. Um, this time, this year it falls on a Saturday, meaning that um, it's going to be a long working week. But that's fine because I will still get like, what is it, three days off after that. So it's fine. <laughs> so yeah, it's going to be nice to have a little sit down and good food and some nice drinks with people that I actually like working with. <laughs> I'm lucky. I'm really lucky. So yeah. I think that's enough rambling from me this weekend. Uh, I need to get the Adrenaline the Calendar thingy out and get you get this out for you guys. And it's 10 minutes past 11 in the morning, so I am doing great. Probably gonna have a nap later though. <laughs> so yeah, I will hopefully see you again next weekend and um, tell you all about it. Tell you how the dinner went. So, until then, take care. Bless, bless.